um, I started as a financial professional in the uh, merchant banking space. My, it was a startup back then and that's where my data science journey really started. My journey also has been interesting going through these uh, uh, you know, various phases of the analytics industry itself. Uh, I started very early in my career uh, in analytics uh, mainly because I had the natural affinity towards numbers. My journey has been, um, I think it's a very, uh, uh, how do I call it, unconventional one. So the initial days of my career, it was more about lack of mentorship. So I guess uh, it was not very clear what you really want to do. I kind of reinvented myself, I could say, many times. Though math has been my passion, so there is the fulcrum which has always been there through and through. Um, and, and, and therefore into data and numbers were, was always fascinating to me. The challenges were more in terms of perception bias. Uh, especially, uh, you know, you're a woman and you have family and a kid. You know, how my personal journey and my professional journey uh, had coincided at, at times which had led me to have a slower growth at times. Sometimes I've had faster growth. Project related to travel or any critical assignment or any stretch projects. So there is an inherent assumption that, you know, one wouldn't be available or wouldn't be able to give to the full. Um, I also didn't have a lot of realization that, uh, you know, I, I can't be a superwoman, I can do everything. I, I tried to um, perfect my parenting and I also tried to do very well in my professional life. In subordination issues, uh, you have less access to network and uh, less authority levels as compared to your male peers. I don't think you're overlooked. It is how you present yourself. In, including in positions of leadership. So there's less number of people to be considered. Just bias also plays a role. And uh, men in general, what I've seen from my experience, are not able to appreciate the qualities that a woman brings to the table to their extent. All through um, being in this field, started as an individual contributor, uh, you know, then through a team and uh, in leadership, help you leverage uh, to build a lot of changes in the organization. So see that women themselves are not so persistent and so so uh, so much passionate towards it that okay, I want it. So they also don't ask. Um, the biases are a little bit going away. Uh, at the same time, organizations are also realizing the power of bringing different opinions and different kind of leadership st styles um, within their uh, environment. Corporates largely here because they're merely a reflection of the society we live in, right? From a manager to a leadership role is not as seamless or as organic for a woman as it is expected to be. There is an acknowledgement of having more women genuinely in organizations and I would say many organizations. So it's not just about filling a diversity candidate, it is also about really believing in having diverse perspectives. The another uh, male colleague who will be applying to the same position, who will not have any constraints, who, who, wouldn't, who would travel any time that they are asked to do, who will be able to give more, uh, you know, face time in office. Uh, people are consciously trying to bridge this gap. People are consciously trying to pull women into the boardrooms. Um, is it because they want to fill the diversity? Yes, a lot of companies are trying to do that, but I don't think it is wrong. Corporates now have a clear business case that diverse boardrooms achieve a stronger and a better financial performance. Uh, we don't necessarily promote women for the heck of promotion. Right? However, we do give opportunity to women to come and showcase their talent. I think uh, the boardroom definitely is very, very uh, clear on having more, more women and it's not just a diversity uh, thing. Black spots everywhere. Uh, you need to ignore that. You need to really be progressive. Uh, look at the right spots. Now realize that they cannot, cannot miss the bandwagon by missing the 50% of the population and they need to have women. We introduce the word diversity, there is a lot of noise. But trust me, there are no free lunches and women have to really cross those 9, 10, if not more hoops to kind of grab those seats on the table.
yeah so overall i would say that it was very heterogeneous i feel that pandemic um has means the pandemic has impacted women in different ways work just fell on women they had to take care of kids because the entire child care support was gone and the need to be available in office did not reduce one bit so because of that obviously there was a lot of or mounting pressure was on a lot of women which also led to a global uh, attrition especially women at senior senior leadership positions have taken a step down or they have resigned at the same time i have also seen a positive story where men had really you know kind of come down and uh, seen really the challenges of balancing a work and the family child and the domestic chores so i know a lot of the personally who have upskilled themselves to cook clean mop etc so that's been a very positive change for me besides that means there is another set of women where in they had to compromise a little bit because they needed to uh, ensure that there is uh, enough support system at home and if they are needed at home positives and negatives for women there were there is no proper support system to take care of the kids when they are in school you really need to look at that you know and balance it out with work etc these companies also played a role there if they provided flexibility to women and also um, mental support and in so many programs on mental well being as well as support during the pandemic that also helped women but it was difficult to have remote teams uh, there are people in my team whom i have not seen across geography borders I do also think that this pandemic has helped in giving a level playing ground for many people. Could get a lot of support and could could set up a great infrastructure at home. Have actually benefited from the pandemic. At least in terms of the career, they could devote more time to learning. They could devote more time to reskilling in areas or participating in other organizational initiatives, which. really help them grow could get a lot of support and could could set up a great infrastructure at home have actually benefited from the pandemic at least in terms of the career they could devote more time to learning they could devote more time to reskilling in areas or participating in other organizational initiatives which really help them grow it has also opened up a lot of opportunities where organizations are now saying work from anywhere and uh, they are giving flexibility to employees to choose how they want to run their shows also because of the pandemic and of course the balancing act continues for women uh, I, i do hope it will get better as we go uh clear is that vision rates are well controlled uh, with women if you give them the right uh, support um if you give them the right uh, uh, you know right flexibility women tend to stay longer uh, in jobs and they are more far more productive far more uh, you know out there to do get things done if you are on maternity leave you are still recognized for the work that you have done etc etc um we consciously increase the number of people that we are at 40% plus in terms of women uh, and at the leadership level as well there's a focus to ensure that we promote uh, you know good talent wherever it is we are also um, running another program where we are looking at women who can be uh, moved up the ladder right they have a lot of potential but because of say self doubt or because um, they are still not sure how to you know empower themselves in the organization so we are identifying 15 to 20 uh, you know women who have the potential to grow up the ladder uh, instead of external hiring diversity ratio gender diversity ratio currently stands at about 40% as i told you it's important to recognize good talent right and not for the heck of the fact that you know you're a woman but give them equal opportunity allow them to play equally and then you know start recognizing them and pulling them up which is like a one on one mentoring sessions which are organized for a dedicated pool of the top talent and we have accelerate which is like a 6 months leadership grooming for the potential uh, candidates to move up the ladder and women play a very good role in balancing people plus knowledge right and 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 that we really encourage and we celebrate removing the biases in hiring so we ensure that Uh, especially for leadership roles there is a diverse 
interviewer panel so uh, avps and above in our organization uh, have been there was a special program uh, carved out springboard program make your mark wherein the uh, the women budding women leaders were uh, were trained for 6 months on leadership so that was one for senior leaders in the organization means there had been a co- collaboration with a top us university Uh, for another program for nine months, so there are a lot of uh, women-specific programs to nurture their leadership skills and to help them contribute more. So making sure everyone is heard is imp- is very important. In fact, more important than the diversity policy for making some of these common changes. India has a. highest percentage of female stem graduates um there are also a lack of role models within their environment because of that they don't know how to you know pursue their dreams so when you are looking at pure play education and engineers to start with i don't think there is a gender gap there actual gap is not really in the education system and the school or college but it's about uh, fundamentally translating those skill sets stem is kind of look that even today even in urban families even in the posh localities that biases are there the gender gap gap starts when they start taking up their uh, jobs uh, once they continue with their jobs and then at some point in time there is a break and slowly 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 the drift happens right uh, that's where the whole thing in my view it starts right uh, they largely that's how it is now now uh, what do you do to encourage this is what one every organization needs to think about uh can play a fundamental uh, difference to it of course families can play that uh, big difference to it i think they will continue their career in this path um you know not allow them to take breaks right but this has to happen from schools maybe schools can how organizations take explicit Uh, uh you know steps to solve this problem through diversity initiatives school should encourage extensively girls to uh, get into math and engineering you need to keep uh, injecting uh, you know uh, the energy at every point in time uh, and it's not just at one point you do this and leave it you you got to keep this doing this till the last mile of taking them to the board lecture build strong align network But make sure you have enough people vouch for you and speak for you, so that that instills confidence and also spreads a word about you. Don't give up. Never give up. Right? Um, when I'm saying give up, don't give up because you think you're not recognized in the organization. Fight for it. Uh, don't give up if you think you're not able to balance out your personal life and your professional life. The women themselves have to believe in themselves. they have to believe that they can do it they have to want it they have to desire it that that's the first thing and then uh, work towards it with hard work uh, passion determination focus going to tomorrow come back and say hey uh, you gave up everything and therefore i'm doing well right so acknowledge that <laughs> acknowledge that now right uh, upskill and reskill yourself multiple times If things are not, you know, uh, working out, if it's very overwhelming, then maybe we should take it slow, but not stop. It's about ambition. If that makes a big difference, going beyond constraints and not constraining yourself to what the obvious constraints are is is very important. Take the plunge. It's okay to take a plunge and do the fight in the right manner possible. I think that women should do, and if they do it, I don't think there is glass ceiling. Uh, there is only opportunities. Opportunities are there. We give. It's for us to grab. Right?